Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some perfect pairings of fruits and chocolates. Uh, we found these at TJ Maxx. They were $4.49 a bag. Uh, we have the dark chocolate covered super fruits, the dark chocolate covered almonds, dark chocolate covered pecans, and dark chocolate covered espresso beans. I'm guessing they like the dark chocolate. <laughs> Um, these were the only four we found, of course, TJ Maxx, places like that. Um, you never know what you're going to find. So they might do something in a milk chocolate variety too, and we just didn't find them. Or they could have lots of other flavors, and these were the only four. You know, I feel really lucky when I'm able to find four of something no, in those places. Yeah. Because you just, sometimes you see one package of one thing on the shelf, and it's like, well, I can't find more than one, so I'm not going to get it. So I'm glad we found four. Um, there is only one of these that we're going to weigh, and it's this one. It's funny because all the other bags tell you how many pieces are how many calories. This one does not do that. This one gives you one fourth cup, 30 grams is 130 calories. So you don't know how many pieces you get. They're dark chocolate covered super fruits, cherries, cranberries, and blueberries. Indulge in the perfect pairing with our succulent cranberries, blueberries, and cherries covered in decadent dark chocolate. Made with 52% cacao that is rich in calcium, antioxidants, magnesium, and iron. You can savor the nutritional benefits and satisfy your sweet tooth. Um, let's see. Where are these made? Perth Amboy, New Jersey. I've never heard of Perth Amboy, New Jersey. Okay. We're looking for 30 grams, and we'll see how many you get. I'm guessing maybe they didn't put it on the back because they're different yeah, fruits. Yeah, different, different sizes. Different. Wow. That's... 28. You probably get one more. There's big pieces and little pieces in here. I'm going to get a little one. Oh, yeah. my gosh. That is exactly that's, But that's literally a hand. Like and a that, of your hand, Hannibal. That is 130 calories. Yeah, okay. I'm going to dump some more on there so we can actually get a couple of them. <laughs> now put a real, well, we real serving on there. We can separate them. Okay. So we have cherries, cranberries, okay, blueberries. There's some tiny ones. You don't want to Looks like them. a grape. I mean, uh, yeah. And then you get some medium sized ones. There's a, a teeny tiny baby one. Okay. And this one, I guess. I don't know. I'm okay. the, little one. the little bitty baby one. Who knows? This big one could have four four fruits stuck in it. I tell you what, I got dark chocolate and a little sharpness from the fruit. And that's it. It was so teeny tiny baby that I couldn't taste the fruit. Yeah, you got it. Just taste the chocolate. Huh. It didn't matter. Hey, right, that one's a different fruit. Still can't tell what it is because all it tastes is dark chocolate. Mm. Did you get a fruit flavor? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was good. It was I got the texture good. of the fruit, but that's it. Mm. I like the big one. The big one, I think, is cherry. I can't tell what it is from the flavor. Mm -mm. Just from the texture. Texture has a little chewiness to it. Mm -hmm. I like the texture of it, but Andrew has always said, I don't know why they put dark chocolate with fruit because it just kills the flavor. It does. I do think that's cherry just because it makes sense yeah. for that to be the cherry. But the dark chocolate, yes, it literally overrides. You do get a fruit flavor. You get a fruit flavor in all of them though. But you get a little tartness. You don't even get the flavor of the fruit. Like, you wouldn't be able to say what it is. Exactly. You might get a little tartness from it. The right? dark chocolate takes away from that distinction. Yeah. So, once you've covered them all in dark chocolate, it really doesn't matter what you choose. Yeah, it's all tastes uh, the same. They're all, they're all good. They all, it's a nice mouthfeel. It's a nice... Um, chew uh that with that crisp chocolate on the outside or firmer it's a firmer chocolate on the outside so it's really really pleasurable to bite into that and chew it um i like them very much oh, like truly them. they could have put all the same fruit in there and it saved some money and you wouldn't know the difference yeah. i don't think yeah. just the size difference that's all there is yeah. i agree okay 
So these are gonna be dark chocolate covered almonds. They are eight pieces is 150 calories. I'm just gonna grab a few out of here. There we go. All the same size. That's why they did that. That's why they didn't put a number on that bag. Mm -hmm. It's because it depends on yeah, what, which one you get, uh -huh. the combination. And... Yeah. Good. You actually mm -hmm. taste the almond, too. That tastes like a uh, an almond candy bar. I know exactly what it reminds me of. Which is a little darker chocolate. That takes me back to childhood, to world's finest chocolate, back at my childhood when they still tasted like world's finest chocolate. Mm. We have since reviewed them, and they no longer taste like they did it when no, I was a they're kid. Not as good. They're not near as good. The quality and the flavor of uh, those almonds tastes like. It was back in the 80s when yeah. I had that. It was very, very delicious. And, and the you, dark chocolate's not super dark either. And you can actually taste the almond yeah. um, over the dark chocolate. I, I it's good. Really I like, like that. Okay. These are pecans and they're bigger. I don't know if you've ever had a pecan and dark chocolate. I mean, I'm sure I have. I just look how much, know. look at that. I mean, my goodness. Look. Pecans are pretty big. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's glorious. <laughs> yeah, I'll eat half of I would have eaten a whole one. Uh, four pieces. Four pieces is 160. Don't you guys put that then? Huh. Yes, Kevin. Those are okay. Um, I don't think I like the dark chocolate and pecans. I love the, how big they are. <laughs> They're halves. They're whole halves. I don't like the combination though. I really don't. Um, I don't either. They don't mix well together. I don't think they do either. It, um, it, it, well, I tell you what it is. It's not bad, but it comes the the dark, the chocolate. It's the same chocolate that's been throughout, but in this one, it's particularly bitter. Yeah. The other ones didn't have any bitterness at all. This comes across as very bitter because they paired it with that pecan. Yeah. I, that's just the way it is. Mm. So I would pass on that one, even though that's so awesome. I love the size of them. Okay, these, save these babies for last because I'm sure they're gonna be strong. I don't generally like coffee beans. These are the dark chocolate covered espresso beans. And um, this is something that, uh, ooh, <laughs> oh, you're in for a treat. Inner Christina like Inner Christina love these things. I always hated the texture. I don't mind the flavor, I don't like the texture. You get a lot. Okay, we're going from getting four for 160 calories. These, because they're so small, of course, 21 pieces is 140 calories. I'm like I'm eating an insect. I knew it. Kevin said that before. You feel like you're eating a beetle or something. The shell or something. Because it has, a, yeah, those espresso yeah. beans, it's like you have a... You're eating the shell of a bug. No, it's kind of bitter. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, which a bug, I don't know what a bug tastes like. But um, you get the- But you can imagine. Yeah, it's, it's, you get this bitter chocolate, then you get the bitter bean, mm -hmm. and it's got this crunchy old shell to it. It's just, just weird to me. I think they could play mind games with people and blindfold them and tell them, you're, you're eating a bug, you're eating a beetle. And it's people, really, people would think a that. A coffee flavored bug or something like that. And people would b believe it because. I would 100% believe it. If you were to give me that and say, this is a coffee soaked cockroach. And I would eat, I would, well, first of all, you would probably be making I'd go, almost. Yeah, he would be making, but it's going to be the same thing. It's just a mind game. Oh, yeah, you know? 100%. Because it's not really, it doesn't taste bad at all. I actually like it. I don't mind the. The flavor is okay. The I, flavor for me is okay. Oh, I think they did a, a spot on job but, with the espresso. I mean, it's down I mean, what they it say is what it is. it is. Yeah. I just don't like the texture though. Kevin, yeah. But, Kevin, but it's it's all coffee beans. It's not just theirs. It's all, it's, anytime I've ever had espresso beans, it's what, it's what I think. Right. So, you would definitely not pick these. And you know what? Truth be told, I thought they did a good job with them and I like them, but I wouldn't pick them. Right. I, my, the one that I would never buy would be the pecans. 
Because that chocolate just comes across That's as too bitter for but me. It, it wasn't good. So The only one I would really buy is probably the almonds. The, the almonds I really enjoy. I would buy those. And the fruit ones are on The bad. fruit ones are delicious. You yeah. just don't know which fruit yeah. it is. Uh, they, they taste a little less dark chocolatey than the rest of them. Yeah, it still is really good. So either one of those are good. Um, just uh, know when you, when you buy, if you buy a bag of the pecans, uh, they're so big that you're not getting as many, you know, in the bag as you do all the other ones. So I will have a picture for you at the end and thanks for watching.